and welcome back to my channel. This is LMB Simmer and I'm here for another episode of My Life in a Vampire Lair. So we are starting um, a little bit fast forward from where we left off. The kids are on they're gonna be on their way home from school and everybody else is at work. So we're gonna fast forward here and bring the kids home and a bunch of new developments for this episode. So, Beauregard has big news that he's eager to share with the two girls. And it looks like the school bus is a little late dropping them off today. Let's see here. Boy, they're really late. Let's bring them. Do that until they get home. Um, school. So there must have been an incident on the school bus because they are over an hour late already. There we go. Okay, so they are home, and Bo's got some good news about his future, and he can't wait to share it with everybody. But first. He is going to take care of some needs, and Mia is going to take care of some needs as well. Let's see, Rafe, free time. Rafe finished a task earlier than he expected. What should he do? Research art or listen to music? Uh, let's have him listen to music. And then Mia is going to use the main bathroom down there. Let's have Ayla. Come get a snack. So we're gonna have her eat some pancakes. Uh oh. Ayla just destroyed Beauregard's medieval castle. Oh no. That's terrible news. Ayla, how could you? That's so sad. That's terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she is awfully in a mood today. So let's see, Bo is doing this thing, and Camila got a promotion. So let's see what it says about Camila. So uh, Camila is promoted to press agent. She will now make an additional $59 per hour for a grand total of $142 per hour. She received the following bonuses, $1,001 just for the aesthetics and status update from venue. And then her next shift is 8, and she still works 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. Alright, so, looks like she could use a bath, so I'm going to send her to have a bubble bath. And that'll help raise some of her fun. And we'll save that once. Ayla's feeling confident now that she uh, destroyed Blue Regard's project. Which, that wasn't very nice, Ayla. Oh my goodness, girl. Okay, and... Rafe is hungry, so I'm gonna have him eat pancakes. And then maybe Ayla will be the first one he'll tell about what is going on with him. And, let's see, Rafe browses for a good song. And his repeat, when he comes across one with a good beat, what started as a quick distraction is an energizing rush that leads to one of his most productive work days and months. Wow. So you got a medium gain from that. That's pretty cool. So let's go. And... Her get some pancakes too. So they'll all sit down and then he will tell them his good news when they are all together. And I have gone ahead and changed up some of the clothes for the kids. They, uh, their other clothes was getting a little boring, so I've added some new clothes for them. Alright, so what Bo is going to be telling them is that he just got a full ride scholarship to Cashbaugh school of arts in san Machuno. so that is what he is going to be doing in his future and what's cool is he is going to graduate this weekend and when he's going to become 18 so that is where he's going to be headed to the city 
and to the School of Arts. He wants to pursue a career in music, and that is what we are going to have him do. And so you know, they're kind of just discussing their futures, and Ayla's saying she's still waiting to hear back from her college application, find out if she's been accepted. And Mia, she doesn't want to go to college. She hasn't told her parents yet, but she really does not want to go to college. So um, that is her plan. She wants to just get married and have a career. She's thinking about following in her mom's footsteps in the social media career. And um, that is, I don't know if she's going to go into the promote the PR branch like her mother or if she's just going to stay in the other branch. But that is what she is thinking about right now. And let's see here. Oh, Ayla is having a bad day. Normally she doesn't rant or do any of those things that she's been doing. Um, let's see here. Let's have her do some homework because she still has to go to school for certain next week. And so we will have her do some homework while she's kind of in a good mood. And uh, Mia is reading, home, trying to read some of her fun. And then Beauregard really doesn't need to do his homework because he is not going to school next week. He will have graduated. So he's tired, let him go get some sleep, and he also has a new toy he bought in the backyard, which we will show later, and um, can't wait to play with that, but we'll let him take a little bit of a nap first. So let's see here, it looks like Mia's watching some TV, she's watching sports, and Camila is, was reading a book, but she needs some fun. I'm going to have her, so what does she need to do for a job? Network with journalists. She hasn't started on that, so let's have her do that. Network with some journalists. We'll have her do that, and then as soon as Mia gets some more fun here, we will go ahead and have her do her homework. They are all pretty tired because they were up late last night instead of doing what they were supposed to be doing. And let's see here. Camila's getting a phone call. Hey Camila, it's me Paolo. Do you want to go on a date? Ooh, that ship has sailed. So Camila had a short-term fling with Marcus Flex way back in the day when she was younger and she first came to San Machino, or uh, San Machino, excuse me, and uh, she joined the, I think it's called the Party House Group for a while, the club, and uh, she had a fling with Marcus. She tried to get together with Paolo at one point, but they ended up just being friends, so I am kind of surprised to see that now he's a calling her and asking her to go out on a date. She's already married with kids. She's doing great. So no thanks. We will pass on that date, Paolo. Your uh, time is past. So let's see here. So Mia is just channel surfing. It looks like she's watching some sports and some other stuff. And it looks like she's finally got high enough level. So we'll go ahead and have her do her homework. I'm not sure really if she's going to need it. She's only got, she's got three days to age up, so I think she'll still need it because I think she'll still be going to school on Monday. And then Ayla is finishing up her homework. And Ayla is going to go to work tomorrow. Her first day on the job is a nanny. I'm excited for that. And let's see here. Congratulations on that big promotion at work. You deserve it. Ooh, I wonder if that means Xavier's getting a promotion. He got one a while back when he became the team dance team captain. But um, he's actually going to be changing careers, so that's kind of interesting if he does end up getting that promotion right before he quits. Um, but he's a hard worker, so that wouldn't be unusual as far as that part goes. Let's get some food. Let's see. We'll do some 
prosciutto wrapped asparagus for Camila and Mia is doing her homework and Ayla's just about done with her homework and let's see Camila has gained 175 followers she now has a total of 500,815 followers and totals. Wow. And then perfect connections to keep you moving forward in this career. She's doing really good as her career and her PR. It's pretty awesome. So happy to see that. Okay, so now you are done. Let's take care of your needs here first. It's kind of late. She has to work tomorrow. Um, but she's not all that tired, so I think we'll let her watch some TV when she's done here. And when Camila's done, I'm going to have her help her daughter with her homework. Maybe that can get Mia finished with her schoolwork faster. She's getting really tired. She had to get up and go to work as a barista, so she um, is tired. She has to get up two hours early before she goes to school and go to work. But luckily, she does not have to work the whole weekend, so it is Friday and she is ready to party. Um, so we'll have some fun with her this weekend. So let's see here. Xavier brought home $273 today, did some her work. And promoted, okay, so Rafe was the one that was promoted. So Rafe was promoted to dance team captain. Um, so he's the same level now as Xavier. And so he makes $39 an hour and he got some new clothes and his next shift is tomorrow. And then Xavier, as we were talking about last time, Xavier is ready to move on. So he's actually going to call and switch, uh, quit his career now, his current career as the dance team captain in the athletic career. And he is going to go into the detective career. He wants something better for himself, so he is going to do that. So we're going to have him quit his job right now, since he's already not in a good mood. That'll, uh, that way he's not hurting his mood status. I am going to send him on a job. Yes jogging okay ah wow okay but I haven't been playing sims that long so this first time I've had somebody I think well no I just Camila did quit one of her, her job after she gave birth well right before she gave birth to Mia she was working in the culinary career and she quit so when she um, got pregnant so Xavier quiz quit his job at the other sports team he decided it's time for a new direction career wise so he did that, and he's feeling a little bit more energized from that. And no, not much stress from work. And now we are going to we are going to have him find a new job. Let's see here. And Ayla has nobody to socialize because everybody is busy. Okay, so this is exactly what Xavier wants. He wants to become a detective. So we are going to go ahead and accept that. And enter the detective career. Xavier is now an officer at the police station. He starts Saturday at 8 a.m. So he starts right away tomorrow in his new career. So that is exciting. And we're going to... Oh, <laughs> so Paolo couldn't get... Camila to go out. Now he's asking if Reef wants to go out. That's kind of funny. Um, but no, we are going to decline because we have other things to do. So, Xavier's going to take care of his needs and Ayla's watching some TV, but now she's going to go practice the violin. Camila is still helping Mia with that homework. It's taking... Okay, Mia just finally finished her homework. It took her a long time to get it done. Now she is going to go to sleep and put her homework in her thing. Let her go get some sleep. And then Camila's going to watch some TV. What's she watching? She is watching Political Sim and 
Xavier is going to wash his hands. I'm going to change his outfit since he's stuck in his new career outfit, which is kind of funny. I'll just change him into that. And then I am going to have him come watch TV with his foster mom. I'm actually going to have Ayla continue working on the violin. And let's see now who came home. So we have Paul that came home and Gianna both came home today. Neither one of them got promotions, but I think they're getting close. So um, Gianna is getting pretty close to her promotion, but she's not there yet. But she is feeling pretty confident about her job and her skills and Paul's a little bit further behind and um, his performance is a little less than hers so she'll probably get the next promotion before him and again he is trying to get into the mixology career track so is that but Paul also still has that news remember he has not told Camila his news from last episode so um, he's got a bomb to drop on her but he's just got to find the right time and uh, not sure when that's going to be just yet. So, let's see here. He wants to be funny with them. So we're going to have a joke about ducks. And Camila wants to level up in her cooking skill. And they are getting a little short on food. In the means they have a bunch of cake pancakes and breadsticks left. So I'm going to have her cook something. Let's see what's interesting. She hasn't cooked for a while. So um, do, do, do. let's have her cook something that's not cake. Something that's food related. Let's go with, let's see, gumbo, apple pie, stir fry, tapano, pepino. I'm so probably mispronouncing that. I'm mumbling and talking to myself, by the way. I apologize. It's just what I do sometimes. So, um, again, I am still new to doing this. And I, in case you, in case you can't tell, I'm still a little shy. And um, I'm trying to come out of my shell. I'm hoping that this will help a little bit. So, uh, that is what's going on with that. So, everything is looking great. And... Uh, Camila decides she's tired, she's going to go to bed, so she doesn't even have time again, once again. Their schedules are kind of off a little bit, so once again, she's not getting any time to have a conversation with Paul, so he's still not able to tell her about what's going on. And let's see here. It looks like she's cooking. And... Ayla needs some socials, so let's have her do that. Let's have her do some chores. I want them. Let's see, Bo is doing good on his character values. I wish Mia would have more manners, but um, she's not really doing well. But she's really doing really well in her emotional control. Surprising, since uh, her father is mean and her mom hates children. It's kind of funny that she has a lot of emotional control. But Ayla, I would like to see a lot more green in her character values, so hopefully we can get her to take care of some of those things. So it looks like the stove is shorting out, and Paul is really good at handy things, so I'm going to have him repair the stove. And Xavier is probably having a conversation with him right now, telling him that he finally went ahead and dumped the athletic career and he switched over. He's going to become a detective. So it's getting closer to when he is getting ready to move and he is going to move out and go to Willow Creek. And the Rikers are kind of sad to see him go, but they understand it's time. It's more than time. He's been in a young adult for a while now, but uh, he just hasn't had the money or the funds to work to move out so they are going to have him so they have had him stay in the house for the time being so that he could gain some money for a house I'm going to have 
him write in his journal. And then let's see here. So and Gianna is now going to talk to Xavier. Originally Xavier was going to move in with her and Rafe and get a how or excuse me an apartment in San Machuno but now that he has decided that he is going to move to Willow Creek and pursue the detective career it's just going to be her and Rafe but she is going to um she wants to move she's still planning on moving into San Machuno and she's wanting to live in the spice district her brother really doesn't care as long as um he can stay in his bodybuilding career track and uh, the athletics so I'm not really sure where they're going to end up yet in San Machuno but she's going to start apartment hunting here soon and they're going to move out and then Bo is going to actually be moving to San Machuno too so the after he speaks he didn't get a chance to speak to Gianna because he of course went and took his nap before they came home from work but he is actually maybe possibly going to become their roommate now instead of Xavier so that will be interesting and let's see here let's have him work he needs to prepare mixed drinks since he wants to be in the mixology career I am going to have him work on that oh, it looks like Xavier's like I've had enough today I am having a drink so he's making himself a sweet and spicy so Let's have him finish that up and then I am going to see what Paul's favorite drink. Okay, he still does not have sufficient skill or funds performance. I think his favorite drink used to be a sour punch, I believe. I wanted to see if it was still a sour punch, but it doesn't look like he has enough skills for that. But I'll have him come practice making some drinks so that he can level up in that so that he's ready when he becomes a mixologist and then let's see here let's have her eat it doesn't look like she ate from her thing and it looks like she reached cooking level 10 so she has maxed out her cooking skill and now she can focus on her gourmet cooking and her baking skill which her baking is still really low Warming cooking is level 7, so that's pretty good. So she's doing pretty good with that. That's awesome. And then, let's see here. Have Rafe put that away when he's done. Nope, don't clean it up. Put it away. Put it away. Have him eat that. And I'm going to have him scavenge for parts because he has some handiness skill, but I didn't trust him to not get electrocuted, so I had Paul do that instead. I wonder what Bo is going to think when he comes downstairs and he finds that Ayla has destroyed his medieval castle. It's so unlike her character, but I guess she was just really, really angry and decided to take it out on his project. But it's a good thing he doesn't need it for class anymore. So, the only thing that we didn't get to discuss was Paul's big news for Camila, but she went to bed without him, so that unfortunately is not going to happen in this episode, so you guys will have to stay tuned for episode 4 to find out what that big news is that Paul has still been holding on to. And with that, I am going to end this episode here, so thank you for listening. I appreciate it, and if you like this, go ahead and hit that button or comment down below and let me know how you think, and thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.